Hi, love bugs. It's your girl, Mike and Renee. Welcome back to my channel. Excuse my voice. Your girl is losing it left and right. I chose the wrong day to do a voiceover, but my lovely sister here is pre-parting my hair and putting it in rubber bands, as you can see, right after I blow-dried it myself. I needed some help because I was rushing. Like, I impulsively took my hair out from the style I had before and washed it and asked her, yo, can you freaking part my hair for me real quick? So, yeah, I needed some help, but... This is a new braiding hair that I've been using called Easy Braid. I freaking love it. It does not itch. It comes pre-stretched. It's long and it's only like six or seven dollars. So yeah, go ahead and get you some at your beauty supply store, honey. This hair right here is amazing. As well as this new gel that I got. Oh my gosh. I freaking love it. It's the um the viral braiding gel. It literally holds my big old head, my thick behind hair down for like two weeks straight. Like it's amazing. Also use that gel as well. That's good too. Especially for my edges. You'll need a comb and some um, shine, and sh uh, shine and jam um, holding spray for like the braids. And your clips and your combs. Okay, first thing first. Whatever braiding hair you have or whatever you decide to use, spray it down with some oil. It's going to make the process easier. No tangles, no nips, knots, none of that, okay? Do that first. Brush through it. Comb through it. Make sure there's no naps in there. This process is amazing, okay? So I'm going to piece, I think I use three different pieces. I use a tiny one first, and then I got a little bigger in size, and then the last one was bigger, but you are gonna see. So what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna coat my hair with this oil that y'all just seen. Look at me, I'm extra. And then I'm going to put this all throughout my big old head. Like when I tell you slicker than slick, honey, I was not playing no games. My hair is way too thick to be adding a little bit of gel. So, yes, I put that gel all through that thing. All right, y'all, after your gel is in your head, you're going to do a part like this throughout your head. Not too big, not too small, but maybe like a third of the parting space that you have. Then you're going to part it down the middle. Boom. Stay with me, y'all. Stay with me. It's a real easy technique, and I love it. It gives the knotless look, but without like having to do all the extra stuff. So follow my steps right here. I don't really know how to explain it, but loop it through the top part and then the bottom. And then you're going to do a regular, um, a regular braid. Sorry. So like an individual. So see, I'm going to do an individual right there. Nice and slow-mo for y'all. And then I'm going to add that piece as soon as I'm done rotating around. So as you can see... Once everything is sturdy looking, you're going to add that piece right there like I did on the left. And then add the other piece like I did on the right. And then loop it around like three times or braid three times. And then add some more hair. And boom, you're done. Period. You're, you're that girl who know how to do her hair. Okay? So again, put your gel in your big old head, make that thing slick, do that part across the top. And I do this because, I forgot to explain this, but I do this this way because I want the braid to sit right in the middle. So that's exactly where I want the braid to be, like, so, so that it'll fall down. So that's why I part it just that little bit at top so that it'll start that braid right in the middle, if that makes sense. But yeah, so you're going to just cross the hair over. You always want to do it diagonal so that 
it's easier to grab on so it doesn't have that big old lump looking like the regular box braids. You know, you want it to look knotless, but without all the extra work that you got to keep adding the hair. And also, I do it this way now because when I do knotless, it gets old mad quick. Like with this way, it's still tight. It still looks fresh. And yeah, I'm that girl, period. And keep going, y'all. It's mad easy. So this next step after I am finished all of my braiding, I already did my hair off camera. What I'm going to do now is um, you'll see this technique I do to basically sleek down the fronts of your hair. Because when I'm dipping my hair, I can't dip my whole entire braid in the water. I might burn myself, you know, the scalp be getting all tangly and whatnot. Like nobody got time for that. So this is what I do just to basically keep my hair sleek in the front and it looks amazing it's a little dangerous so be careful but this is what i be doing <laughs> 